YouTube, today we are going to be breaking down my food. The food that I will be eating on this prep. The food that I will be obviously fueling myself and preparing my body for the prep for the pro card, which will obviously be the goal in December first when you get through the October show, provincial qualifier, then we'll be able to get into the pro show in December. So over here are my meals, delivered to you from the protein joint, shout out CJ, let's get ourselves a knife. So CJ and the protein joint are preparing two meals a day of mine. So yes, I am still fasting during this prep. Obviously not ideal to be fasting and doing bodyboarding, but it is my lifestyle. It's something that I'm going to continue to do and I will do it regardless of competing or not. So my first meal of the day is pretty much just chicken and sweet potato. Over here, we got 250 grams of chicken, 250 grams of sweet potato. And then obviously you need your healthy fats. So that is an avo. So my first meal of the day pretty much looks like this. You got your chicken, you got your sweet potato, you got your avo. And yo, I use sauce, bro. I use sauce, I won't deny that. And I don't know, it's not many bodybuilders that don't. And I mean, so 16 weeks out, what's the issue? So, I mean, it's literally as plain and simple, but it's made for me. And you know, as a bachelor, obviously it's difficult to cook. I hate it, bro, I hate it. When Sasha was here, obviously she's away now for another six weeks. But when she was here, you know, we'd take turns. So I would, you know, maybe cook one meal a day. She would cook maybe two meals a day, that kind of thing. Whereas now, she's away for six weeks. I'm on my ace. You best believe I'm not cooking. That's why having these pre-cut, pre-cut, pre-made meals helps me a lot, you know. And obviously it's a lot easier than having, while, you, while you're working, you know, here at the desk. It's a lot easier than having to go, take 20 minutes, cook your chicken, cook your sweet potato. I literally just pop this in the microwave and you're good to go. And that's one thing about dieting and being healthy. You obviously have to be prepared. And with this, my food is always prepared. So there's no reason for me to slack on my diet. There's no reason for me to not eat my prescribed meals. So this is meal numero uno. So this is where now I normally enjoy my a good meal time. Sit here, do some work, eat some meal, Saved about half an hour not having to cook, so win-win chicken wing with the rum. Let's break down supplements. What I will be using on this prep, what I have been using, you know, on my semi-bulk, if you want to call it that. So I would say the three fundamentals you should be using. Obviously, it depends on your goals, but these products pretty much bulking, cutting, maintenance, whatever your goals are, females, anyone can be using these products. So first off is just a amino acid an amino acid supplement i take this during training pretty simple mix with some water while i'm gymming slug it down simple easy helps recovery you know especially when you're cutting it stops the muscle from breaking down essentially pre-workout this is the one that you don't have to take obviously you can have a coffee you can have whatever you want to get energy however i just like it it tastes nice it obviously helps with getting a better pump nitric oxide through the body the blood flow obviously is improved. Then third, definitely fundamental. And a lot of people get like a mass gainer when they are bulking. I don't believe in that. I believe in getting, you know, a quality whey protein. Then you can make your own mass builder with oats and all that kind of stuff. We can talk about that if you guys want to, but you know, for today's purpose, whey protein for cutting, obviously for bulking females, perfect to use for anyone. Honestly, anyone 16, 17, 18, 50 year old, whey protein's fine, bro. Creatine, let's say 100 rand lasts me, I don't know, three months, four months. So what I do is I mix my creatine monohydrate. Monohydrate is definitely the most studied creatine. So there's the most results and people say it is the best. So a lot of people stop creatine before a show. I don't believe in that. But pretty easy and simple. BCAs, creatine, pre-workout, whey protein. It honestly does not matter when you take whey protein. I don't take whey protein. After gym, a lot of people say, oh, you got 45 minutes, you need to quickly have a whey protein. That's nonsense. I would rather, you know, you've got an hour and a half, at least probably, to be able to eat a meal after gym. I find that more valuable. It's not artificial, so I prefer having a whey protein before gym. After gym, for recovery, I believe actual protein, getting from meat, mince, chicken, whatever, is gonna be far more beneficial than something that is man-made. That's why I have this tasting nice with my oats before gym, and then an actual meal of mince or chicken or whatever after a workout. So I didn't realize, and I just realized now that I had beauty mode on, so I apologize for being an Instagram person that does that. Over here, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't even know if it's gonna change, bro. Slightly different. I don't even know, but if I come up a close and personal, you can see all of my 
imperfections. So as we move over to the post-workout segment, the final meal of the day, sitting here in front of the fire, enjoying the warmth. There's nothing better than a cold winter's evening, sitting in front of the fire, enjoying a good meal, chilling with my boy Drax, the boy Kylo over there. I mean, look at this fire, bro. Sizzling, hot, and warm. So for myself, this fire is actually really hot, bro. It's nice. Got my boy Kylo chilling here. So for myself, I like to have a red meat post-workout as opposed to pre-workout because red meat is digested a bit slower and I feel for myself, I'd rather be focusing on the muscles that I'm training and the body focusing on working the muscles. Whereas if there's red meat slow, digesting red meat, your body might obviously be doing that, expending energy on digestion, where you'd rather just expending energy solely on, you know, building and working and recovering the muscle. That is why I'll have a pre-workout that contains oats quickly, cream of rice, absorb very fast with you know whey protein which is easy on the digestion process you know whereas the red meat afterwards because then my body can recover it can focus on you know digestion that kind of stuff so that's why I focus on that with the fast acting carb which is obviously the white rice. Simplicity at its finest open the fridge pull out some mince and white rice that person will come help. You can tell a lot about a person by what their fridge looks like. I'm actually pretty sad to show you guys my fridge, but I'll show you anyway. So, got some salad stuff, got some cheese. We'll have that on a cheat day, guys, don't worry. Got some wraps for high carb day, some Pepsi. That's one thing a lot of my clients ask, you know, is it okay to have, you know, sugar-free drinks? And yeah, it is, it's not optimal. There's a lot of people that say, you know, carbonated drinks can be bad for you but also eating sugar can be bad for me. There's a lot of things that can be bad for you. So substituting a little bit of a sugar-free drink just to be able to help satiety and help you be able to diet better isn't the end of the world. So I'm gonna warm up this post-workout meal over here. I'm gonna chow it, edit this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you learned something. At the end of the day, I just wanna show you everything that I do on this prep, the road to pro part three. Thanks for tuning in.